Hey guys, it is GTO Technology here to show you how to make an app that will play a sound either on load or on button press. Here I made a button uh, based application to play the first uh, 10 or 13 seconds of a Maroon 5 song. So let's go ahead and check it out. Just press the start button. As you can see, it is working. Press the stop button, press start again, press the stop button. As you can see, um, the button text changes when you press it. The music starts when you press start and stops when you press stop. Uh, you can, I will also teach you how to loop the audio X amount of times or infinitely or not at all. In this case, it is not looped uh, in this application. Remember that you have to be careful with using audio in your applications as it can be copyrighted. Okay, let's go and get started. Make a new application in Xcode, view based for iOS or the iPhone. And I'm going to name this Sound App. Okay, first thing you want to do, want to do is go to build phases. Click on the arrow next to link binary with libraries. Press the plus and type in AV and right there you'll see avfoundation.framework. Click that and press add. Alright, so now that we got a framework added, we will have a way of playing the audio. Now go to your .h file and right under import we have to uh, reference to this foundation. So type in the pound sign and type import AV foundation slash AV foundation dot H. Press the enter key so that it looks neat and tidy. Okay, right after import, it's kind of a uh, let's add three lines separating it between interface and right in the middle, type in IMT clicks. Let's go ahead and explain what this will do. The button uh, needs to know if it is uh, clicked or not. And there are different ways of doing this, but uh, in my opinion the, s opinion, the simplest way of doing this is to set an integer. By default, it is set to 0. When it is clicked, it is changed to 1. When you click it again, it is set back to 0. So 0 equals not clicked, 1 equals clicked. Okay, so by default, when you state an integer, its default value is 0. So we don't have to change anything up there. Now, type in AV Audio Player, asterisk Audio Player. So that's what we will call the Audio Player. We'll just call it Audio Capital P Player. Right below that, we're going to add an IB outlet for the button itself. And type UI Button Start. So our button's name will be Start. Right under Interface, right under that closing bracket, you're going to type dash space parentheses IB Action closing parentheses play semicolon now we have an action to tell uh, the application that uh, to play the song this is not uh, all you're gonna have to do for this this is just uh, referring to the actual action that we will create in the .m file so go ahead and navigate over to the .m file right under um, implementation I'm gonna press the enter key twice so right in the middle Three lines separating impl implementation and dialog. Dialog. I, I can't say that. Sorry. Okay. So type dash space parentheses again. IB action. Uh, closing parentheses. Play space. Uh, curly bracket or bracket. Press the enter key in Xcode 4. It will close it off. If you're not on Xcode 4, you will have to close it off yourself. <coughs> it's right next to the backslash. Okay. Now. Right on our play, we're going to type if clicked if the integer that we stated earlier, which is 0, is equal to 0, which means if it is not clicked, bracket, enter key, make sure it's closed off, clicked equals 1. So if it is not clicked, we are going to t say that it is now clicked. 0 equals not clicked, 1 equals clicked. So this, <clears throat> I'm speaking so fast, this one, uh, Stating this right here will mean it is clicked. We're telling it that it is now clicked. Uh, this is going to be a little bit uh, more coding. It will be about five or six lines. 
of the uh, audio player itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this started. NSURL string, or we're gonna not string necessarily, but we're gonna name this URL. And by the way, in case you're wondering, IB means in uh, interactive builder, so IB action, inter interactive builder action. <clears throat> NS, uh, shoot, I think it means new string, so NS URL means new string URL equals ns url file url with path be careful care oh, be careful wow be careful with capitalization because you uh, if you miss a cap if you miscapitalize the letter <clears throat> that will not work it's very uh, it's sensitive to that okay so colon bracket and not the curly bracket, just uh, I'm not, I need to learn the names of these things. Uh, I guess it's just a straight bracket, we'll call it that, straight bracket. Curly brackets is this, but we don't want that. So, bracket, ns string, string with format, capital W, capital F, colon, at sign, quotation mark, percent sign, at sign slash and this is where you're going to uh, it'll be a dot we're gonna be using a dot mp3 file so go in uh, name it uh, audio or test dot mp3 so I'm gonna call mine test dot mp3 quotation mark comma bracket bracket and as bundle main bundle closing bracket resource path and these are straight brackets by the way and three followed by three closing straight brackets I feel like an idiot when I say straight bracket press the enter key on to the next line <clears throat> let's just check over this make sure everything is uh, fine and dandy okay all looks good in the neighborhood Okay, let's just check what this warning message is. It's probably because it's just not uh, declared, unused. Yeah, that's it. It's declared, but we haven't used it yet. So, go away. Okay, right on the next line, we are going to type ns error. We're going to name it error, semicolon, audio, capital P, player, equals, two straight brackets, av audio, player, Alloc, 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 a lock, maybe it's a lock because you're saying allocate or a lock. Just don't judge me. Closing straight brackets. Init uh, with contents of URL, URL error, colon, and error, straight bracket, semicolon. I don't expect you to necessarily be keeping up with this at the pace I'm going at. Feel free to pause the video. I know it can be frustrating to try and follow a video that is going very fast. Uh, in order to learn Xcode or come to where I am right now, I've had to go through a lot of that. So feel free to use the pause button. And then now we get to state the number. That, that basically handles errors. Right here we are going to handle the amount of times that it needs to loop. So audio capital P player uh, dot number of loops capital O capital L equals negative one negative one means infinite it'll infinitely loop after you start playing it if you want that leave it at negative one zero would mean do not loop at all just play one time so it will not it, the total amount of loops or number of loops is zero two would mean to one would mean to loop it uh, one time after it finishes playing Hmm, how can I say this? After the first time playing, it'll play it again. Two would mean two more times, three, etc. So I'm going to set mine to zero. Okay. We were doing great so far. Next line, two lines down, bra straight bracket, audio player, play, closing straight bracket, semicolon, uh, uh, straight bracket, Start. So now we're referring, if we go back to the .h file, uh, 
we named the button that we will be creating start. So we're referring to that right now. This is where we change what the button says from start to stop once it is clicked. So start set title colon at sign uh, quotation mark stop and or just quotation mark again for state UI control state normal uh, closing bracket semicolon and that is it for the clicked <clears throat> for when it is clicked and it has not been clicked before so just put a closing curly bracket and now we're going to type else and opening curly bracket press the enter key it closes off again if you're in Xcode 4 and hmm, I believe I have one extra right here if you have an extra uh, bracket and have not removed it like I have not just press the enter key or delete key and remove that extra bracket or else it will produce an error and the application will not work because we're closing it off we're closing off something that has not been opened okay under else uh, straight bracket audio capital P player release this tells it to stop we're releasing it we're just stopping it uh, this is when it is clicked when it has been clicked when you click it again it will be reset back to zero or not clicked so this will stop it we're gonna say clicked equals zero again so that uh, it resets the whole thing uh, and then we're gonna copy this right here the uh, the title set title I'm going to paste it in right here. We're going to change it from stop within the quotation marks to start. Okay, now we have to actually add the audio into the project, the test.mp3. Make sure it is called that unless you named it something different. I've only really tested with an mp3 to be honest. I'm not sure if it'll work with audio, other audio types. I'm sure it will work with probably a WAV. So I've got my test uh, mp3 right here on my desktop. You can drag it in from Finder. That is fine too. In your navigation window, drag it onto supporting files. And then when it asks, uh, just press finish. Mine, this is just, again, like 11, 13 seconds on high quality. So it is about 300 kilobytes, depending on how large your file is. Uh, one megabyte is pretty, pretty big for a sound file. It'll take longer to actually start, and it'll take longer for the uh, the button to change its state to clicked, and for the audio to actually start. Okay, but believe it or not, that is it, as far as I can tell, unless we come across something else. Uh, but now we have to actually add the button itself. That is it for the coding. Go to your nib file. I apologize to the cat uh, in the background. You'll have to get used to that. Go to the utilities menu, drag in a round rectangular button right smack dab in the middle. Again, and as is the title, just say start. Uh, and then right in the IELTS files owner, right click that and drag start to the button start. So now we have our button that we stated in the dot H linked up and now we need to actually link up the action to start the audio so drag play to start press touchdown and press run no issues thank goodness I'm gonna go to the new application alright and listen Beautiful. Press it again. As you can see, once it is loaded one time, it does not need to load the audio again, so there won't be any delay after you press it the first time when you press it again to start it once more. Um, so that is it. Uh, this is my, uh, I believe, third Xcode tutorial. If you want to learn how to make a background on your app like uh, you saw on my other one for the Maroon 5 song, uh, there is a video, and uh, it's right on my channel. Uh, be sure to subscribe, rate, and comment, and tell me if it helped, because I want to know if I'm, you know, doing well. And yeah, I hope you uh, stay tuned for more.